I'm trying to be very cool right now, Jenny. You're doing a <laughs> As pretty you know, good job. This is a big deal, guys. It, it is a lifelong <laughs> musical theater fan. Like yep. this is this is next level. This woman is a superhero to me. The week this weekend, there is a chance for you to see the award-winning actress, Broadway goddess. The list goes on. Adina Menzel, the real life Elsa from Frozen, Elphaba from Wicked, Maureen from Rent, plus so many other iconic roles. But these days, she has a new project she's here to talk about with her sister, Adina Menzel, and her sister and writer Kara Menzel. They've just released a new children's book. Hello, ladies. So nice to see you and you're joining us in Colorado this weekend. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yes. Thanks for having us. So Loud Mouse, this is your new children's book, just came out this past fall. Tell us what this story is about and the age of kids you're really hoping will fall in love with this story. Well, we hope all ages of, <laughs> of adults and children will fall in love with the story. We hope that it's sort of simple and, and straightforward enough to speak to the youngest loud mouse and also um, sophisticated and layered enough to speak to the um, the adults. The adults. Keep the adults laughing. It's about, um, it's about, well, it's based on, it's inspired by me as a little girl. <laughs> um, it's about a little mouse called Dee and her Kara, her little sister Kara, uh, Kara Lee. And it's about um, kind of when I was little and, and I knew I had this big voice and I had something really, you know, unique to offer, but I wasn't sure how how, uh, what, where I was comfortable doing that. And sort of, I think that a lot of kids aren't sure how to really step into that thing that makes them special and, and embrace that. And so that's what's, what it's about. And then I have my younger sister who is always the smarter and the wiser, who is also <laughs> that in the book, who has the advice, has the advice for D. Yeah, I, I was a teacher in Boulder for almost 15 years. And so she called me and said, I'd like to talk about how kids can shine, but also how it makes them vulnerable and that that's okay. And I said, I don't know what story we'll tell about that, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> and we're coming, our mom, we're gonna go stay with our mom oh, uh, this weekend. So she's so very happy amazing. that you're having us come in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all her and all her friends are gonna be at the JCC. <laughs> Everyone, everybody. And they are not, kin yeah. yes, they are not kindergartners. They are, you know, in their 70s. Grown ups, <laughs> grown ups who are more than happy. Yes. <laughs> Well, but totally, yeah. Carrie, when you talk about like, you know, this also reaching to adults and parents, I have a three year old and like our books are our favorites together, right? Like it's something you right. do mm -hmm. as a family. So a children's book really can be and is for everybody. And I know about, you know, song stories that probably get played over and over and over and can really annoy parents. So um, so we really try to have this have layers so that with each age that your kid is at and as you're going with readers and Kara's the teacher and the literacy specialist actually. So she really thought about the language of the books and, and how this could unfold at each age. And also, so we just didn't drive parents crazy and they actually felt <laughs> like there was something in there to talk about with their kids. But we'd like to pepper it with some fun stuff so that every time you read it, maybe you find something new. And speaking of fun, I hear these events you do with this book can be really fun too. So tell people what they can expect when they come out this weekend. Well, go ahead. No, you go. They'll be, they'll be singing because there's a refrain in the book. There's a refrain in the book, of course. We had to have music. Yes. And um, yeah, and we teach it a little bit to everybody and they sing it along when we get there and on the pages. And they have to get really loud when they sing it because the refrain has them go la 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 loud. And so we get really loud and then we have to quiet them very quickly so, so that they we can hear the rest of the book, which is sort of <laughs> antithetical to the whole book because the book's about finding your loud and proud voice. And then we tell them to be quiet <laughs> so that they can, they can hear all the words. So we've, we've run into that little problem there. <laughs> It sounds like you guys have just so much fun with this. It's fun to see you guys do this together too as sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, for everyone who's interested, yeah. the event details for this. So this is Sunday, this Mar this Sunday, March 5th. It's at the JCC in Boulder, right ladies? Three to four o'clock yeah. is the reading, but they're selling some of these books beforehand just so folks who maybe wanna come out and see it, right? Yeah, exactly. Great. Okay, yeah. and you can meet our you can meet our mother and all her friends. <laughs> the whole family will we be have, there. We have we have to thank for you both. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate meeting you this time. Thanks so much, guys, and good Thanks luck this weekend. Thanks for having us. We thank you for having us. Take care. Bye.